Berrier Sanzane, Master of the American Landscape. Produced by Tobin Reese Fine Art. Buying and Selling the Works of Sanzane. The artist Berrier Sanzane once wrote My gift to America is to make one realize how beautiful the simplest landscape is and how alive, vigorous, and changing our trees and rocks are. The gift of understanding beauty is the greatest anyone can make to another human being. Sanzane's way of painting the American landscape with bold and carefully chosen hues of color applied in heavy strokes has its roots in the artist's early exposure to European modern art. Born in 1871 in Blitzberg, Sweden to a cultured family, at the age of 20, Sanzane left for Stockholm where he hoped to study at Sweden's Royal Academy. However, there were no openings. But in a stroke of good luck, he instead joined a group of seven other students who would be taught by Anders Zorn, one of Sweden's greatest painters and etchers. Primarily a portraitist, Zorn painted energetically in a limited palette that emphasized contrasts of warm and cool tones, a bravura approach that made an impression on young Sanzane. Further studies in Paris with Edmond Francois Amanjan, a proponent of Impressionism and Pointillism, further emboldened Sanzane's approach to painting and introduced him to American students. The paintings Sanzane made under Amanjan, such as the Impressionistic Oil on Canvas, Winter Landscape with Birds, which features a blazing sunset show that he had learned to use expressive brushwork and strong color to render dramatic images of local scenery. After corresponding with Dr. Carl Aaron Svensson, the founder of Bethany College in Lindsburg, Kansas, Sanzane accepted a teaching position there in 1894. Initially a language instructor, he soon became the college's leading art instructor and also taught art history and aesthetics. During the next two decades, his art moved through a variety of styles, including tonalism, which emphasized mood and lighting, then towards a more solid style influenced by the works of Paul Cezanne. Like Cezanne, Sanzane was fascinated by mountains, rocks, and their geology, and he worked towards a style that suggested a certain weightiness. Sanzane discovered new landscapes through travel including his first painting trip to Colorado Springs in 1916. He soon became a frequent visitor to New Mexico, painting in Taos and Santa Fe. Sanzane spent summers in 1923 and 4 teaching at the Broadmoor Academy in Colorado Springs and at the Chappelle House, now the Denver Art Museum, and other regional institutions. By the mid-1920s, he had perfected his mature style, which is characterized by solidity and brilliantly applied impasto colors. Painting is mainly color expression, he once explained, although other elements are necessary, such as form and composition, harmony and contrast. An active and versatile printmaker, Sanzane preferred to work in black and white and in small format, using strong line and visual rhythm to replace color. During his career, he created over 200 lithographs, 94 woodcuts, and 27 etchings for a grand total of over 33,000 individual prints. A lifelong art advocate and educator, during the Great Depression, Sanzane became a WPA artist and wrote a book titled With Brush and Pencil. Brilliant and intellectually versatile, he spoke six languages, including Latin, and sang solos with the Bethany Oratorio Group. He taught well into his 70s, using the evenings to work on his own paintings after a long day of teaching. Before his death in 1954, Sanzane wrote, Painting was my greatest ambition, not just to paint pictures to sell, but to understand the country about me and about its formation. When this was understood, I could paint an American landscape and show how beautiful it was 
to those who had not yet realized how lovely America is.